guys, it's time to do an old-fashioned test, a lift test, and to make it an honest test, we're going to add the weight of the wing with this test. So, okay. So the weight of the wing is 500 grams, 530. And this battery is almost 600 grams, but it simulates the weight of the wing a little bit. So it must take off with this extra weight. I put it on the CG. And let's try a test test. A trust test. Okay everyone, this is it for this week's video. Uh, we did a lot today. I'm really happy that we are uh, getting more skill step by step, like uh, connecting the roll nozzles with uh, the ailerons. Uh, this is a nice feature about the Harrier. Um, for me, it saves servos. Uh, really cool feature, but this one is not controlled by the pilot, but controlled by the KK2 uh, flight computer. Um, we did a lot today. We closed the fuselage. Um, we attached the wing, uh, adjusted the, the, uh, the row nozzles, installed the servo. So this was a lot of work. Um, next week we're going to um, proceed with making the, the flaps. Um, we're going to uh, um, wire all the servos to the flight computer and then hopefully we can make some adjustments to the flight computer and we're going to do our first test. For now, I'm really happy with the, with the results of this short hover. Um, we upgraded the 40 millimeters to a 50 millimeter EDF from FASA. Um, also, we have a bigger ESC for those two. We used before 18 amps and now 40. Um, those two side EDFs, they are now changed by two uh, row nozzles. And even with these new numbers, a uh, bigger ESC, um, Unfortunately, the 180 uh, burns, so I go back to Yeti, it's 70 uh, grams more uh, heavy, but it only took 128 amps to get it loose. So I'm really pleased with this result. So hopefully we can do a vertical start very soonly. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.